La Welcome Party de Kiev está a punto de empezar y ya están todos los medios preparados para dar la bienvenida a los artistas de Eurovisión 2017. Vamos a ver qué nos cuentan. You were in American Idol. Yes. And how does it feel different to American Idol? It actually kind of feels similar, man. It's so much work, so much great activities and all the contestants getting together. It's an amazing experience. It feels amazing. It's a dream come true and I never thought I'd be doing it at such a young age. Is the Eurovision that big in Australia? Yes, it's massive in Australia. There's so many people get into it and I think people back in Australia really love, you know, how crazy Eurovision can get but also how amazing some of the songs are. You arrived here and suddenly you are one of the biggest favorites. How do you feel about it? <laughs> to be honest, I am so, so excited because everybody keeps telling me that I'm really thankful and excited and I, I still can't believe that this is actually happening to me, so it's, it's like dream. Bueno, para quien no la conozca, esta mujer es la responsable de puestas en escena tan impresionantes como las de Iveta del año pasado. So, Iveta's performance was amazing. Uh, thank you. You need to find the key element of a song and, and elevate it so everybody sees what's so special with the song. And this year we have the perfect mix. How do you synchronize like all those images and all those movements? I don't know, it's my work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming with my backing artist. This is uh, taking the message till the end of the performance. Yes, of course. We decided to be artistic till the end. This is the message to all the women that it is very, it is never late to start new life. Just trust yourself. Try to control your feelings. Bueno, la luna está un poco difícil, no? Porque no sabía, no podía practicar antes porque la la han construido aquí y por eso tenía que practicar mucho. Los primeros ensayos fueron fueron complicados, pero bueno, la, lo, lo más complicado son las cámaras, ¿no? What are these paintings that you're artists? Oh, oh yeah, it's like a princess, yeah? You no, know, this is like festival makeup, actually. Yeah. If, if you were uh, somehow in an um, no. international music festival, the girl's always face. doing something with the, his hair. Today it's V. Victory! Yes! <laughs> hey! Hispana! Mañana! 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 We spent uh, 24 hours a day together. <laughs> it's actually a little bit difficult because I have already slept with them. I don't know. <laughs> We're doing everything like. Uh, and if we, uh, I, I, I had some uh, women, it would be also good, I think. Last time we met, you told me that uh, you were afraid of not getting the same position as Polly and you're gonna make it. I don't know, I don't know, I really hope so because, you know, we were top four and I don't want to be lower than this because Bulgaria will feel down and I want to make my people happy and proud. Is it sometimes difficult to get in that huge stage? It's difficult, but the stage is really, it made me really comfortable, I don't know why, but that's a good thing. That's why we're here finally, so to sing, and so I'm really excited to sing. What happened with Lorraine this year? Well, she didn't make it to the final, so why? I, I don't know. People didn't vote, apparently. It was very challenging for me singing and dancing at the same time and making it look perfect. Uh, but I'm working hard and that's the only way to do it. I was impressed when I was in London and the people who were at the hall, they knew all the lyrics by heart. It's really a nice atmosphere there and the people, the huge fans of Eurovision Song Contest, they are really very skilled. You can ask them, hey, and who won the Eurovision Song Contest in 1978? And they will tell you. Did you ever consider to dance, like in your video clip, the dancers? Yes, I wanted to, but it wasn't possible. <laughs> We're trying to work on this a little bit now, trying to adjust some uh, movement, so we'll see. When this finishes, are you going to spend that much time together as you are doing now? I don't know what happens after this. We'll have to yeah. see. We live in a different city, uh, me and Lena, so probably we won't see every day, but we, we have been friends for 17 years, so yeah. Have you got any piece of advice of the king of upbeat songs, uh, Sakis Rubas? <laughs> sure. Um, what Sakis and everyone that, uh, that has uh, participated in the Eurovision in the past has told me is that I have to enjoy it. That it is a once in a lifetime experience. So. You said that uh, this song came in a, in a moment where you were asking yourself lots of things, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like um, sometimes you get lost and and we forget who you are. And it, it, this song's really about just remembering that I'm just gonna put down my walls and lay down my weapons of defending myself and just really just open myself up for love and uh, 
and to give us 100%. You are already making history in Eurovision, aren't you? Yes, uh, my father competed uh, for Iceland as well in 1995. Would you have liked to compete together? No, we're very different musically, no. Have you ever heard you look like Nicole Kidman? I have, many times. <laughs> I'm not original then. Of course, I, I hope that my, my friends in the UK uh, will vote for me because they can't vote for UK, so, uh, <laughs> you know. Um, well, yes, of course, I, I've lived in London for quite a while now as well, so, so I, I love the city and um, hopefully I'll get some, some points from the UK, of course. Was it uh, very difficult to adapt the performance in San Remo? to Eurovision? No, it, it wasn't difficult because I think it's made quite the, the, the same performance, just uh, I, I had to cut uh, a part of song uh, but the performance is, is uh, quite the same. ¿Por qué decidiste ponerte en los visuales? Queríamos hacer algo especial con un 3D, eh, así que me parece que es algo que salió especial. Ojalá que, que, que Europa le va a gustar, ¿sí? Chicos, eh, les extraño un montón desde que, del momento que estamos en Madrid. Eh, muchas gracias por su apoyo y nos vemos muy pronto. ¿Es this been the dream that you were following? Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's really a dream come true. I was just telling some other guys that I wouldn't, I wouldn't like it to finish, you know. I would be so heartbroken when I go back home. But at least I'm enjoying every second of this experience. Well, today I'm wearing Ukrainian fashion. I really like it. I think it fits the red carpet. Edgar is, is really furry today. Your hair changes a lot. Why? So how many wigs have you brought? Um, I just like to experiment. I love the looks. I love to change it all the time. And I'm always bored, so... Yes. How are you? You got this uh, thing for the voice, how did you challenge and uh, make it? Uh, we got a great crew and they fixed it, so we're really happy. Yeah. But uh, we think that it should be in the Eurovision, making it easier for the next year and the next year and the next year and so on, because you got so much more opportunities. Yeah, we do. And all those people like me, who's like a producer making music at uh, his bedroom, Yeah. He now has the opportunity to uh, take the, his cool song to the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. Great, you are the favorite of Manel Navarro, the Spanish one. You are his favorite. Oh, yes, Manel, yes, Manel, it's our friend. friend. It's our friend. We like very much his song. Uh, uh, with the, with singing together, um, chatting and together. together. <laughs> <laughs> Have you recovered from this canyon accident? Uh, yes, now good. Why did you decide to bring these huge canyons to the stage? Uh, well, you will be surprised. They enhance our message. You know, uh, it's like uh, the explosion that happens. It's uh, the break free, the yodel, you know? <laughs> and if you remember the last scene from La Vita e Bella, when the, he jumps on, on the cannon and the uh, war is over. And we have another thing, yeah. but we won't tell you now. You, you, you'll, <laughs> you'll have a surprise. So Lucy, you are singing uh, without shoes on the stage, aren't you? Yes, yeah. Why? I'm not very good in heels. <laughs> I'm not wearing heels right now, and I'm wearing this beautiful dress. Uh, so I'm wearing these. So un par de converse. <laughs> They're so comfortable. <laughs> has has uh, Emily the Forest, the Forest given you this advice? No, no, no. I've, I've never. I've always not worn shoes when I sing. It's been a thing for years. I just can't do it. Habéis conseguido ya solucionar los fallos o las cosas que nos gustan de la primera actuación, ¿no? La verdad es que del primer ensayo a este ha habido una gran diferencia y la verdad hoy hemos salido muy contentos con los cambios que hemos hecho en realización, en la luz, en el sonido incluso y, y el resultado muy bien. Algu alguna cosa más mejoraremos aún. ¿Juntáis José María y tú en la habitación? ¿Os ponéis allá a, a repasarlo como los deberes del colegio? Nos juntamos a veces, nos juntamos ya mucho tiempo en las cabinas, ¿sabes? <ríe> Al final nos conocemos tantísimo, ¿sabes? Lo importante son los ensayos de cada gala. ¿Sois amigos de verdad hace tiempo? Esto es un farol. No, no, sí, sí, somos amigos desde hace tiempo. Sí, sí, sí. Tío, eh, ¿Estáis contentos de que se haya metido en este embolado o decís vaya marrón? No, no, estamos muy contentos de verdad. 
y muy, o sea, estamos <risa> muchísima gente, muchísima gente, muy nerviosos también para la actuación y muy contentos sobre todo. How do you speak to the original plan if you have so many ideas? Uh, we're sticking to the plan. It's just that when you come here and you see all the possibilities and uh, what's what's possible on this stage, then you wish to have five rehearsals, you know, before the final, uh, before your semifinal and the final performance. My song is uh, dedicated uh, to persecuted animals. Since I was a little girl, I always uh, loved animals and I was fighting for their rights. Uh, we adopted, we have seven animals, we have five dogs and two cats. They're all adopted from animal shelters. This song can also uh, reflect to uh, connect with people because I believe that there is not a lot of uh, differences between humans and between animals. So, you know, let's fight for animal rights together. Is it very different uh, Eurovision Junior and Eurovision? Oh, yeah, of course, in now. the size. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. And, and I think what has changed mostly is us. <laughs> we changed a lot. We didn't do anything professionally back then. And now we have really focused on this, yes. Don't you fight a lot being always together? No, actually not. Uh, no, not of course, music. Okay. No. Of course, we are sisters, so yes. yes. Yeah. But not, not about the music or something. No. no. Your parents must be so happy that you spend so much time together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and our dad and my boyfriend wrote our song. So yeah, it's really... Really cool, That's really special. Thing. And the mom yeah. was our was our inspiration for the song, so she's in there. Bienvenido. Gracias. Tenías muchas ganas de venir y, y, y te das cuenta de que eres uno de los favoritos. Ah, no sé si de los favoritos. Solo me alegra que la gente le guste la canción. Eso es lo lo importante, ¿no? Todo lo demás. Tenías muchas ganas de venir, entonces. Eh, sí, tenía ganas también porque. Eh, viene una persona muy importante para mí y porque está también mi sobrino que hacía una semana que no le veía y eso ya me está dejando loco. Más que nada, ¿no? Estar con la gente. Pero también cantar la canción y pasar la mensaje emocional que tiene la canción. We saw you the other day with a motorbike. What was yeah. that about? Yeah, I have, I've been motocross racer for 10 years. So you were the one jumping? Yes. Uh -huh. so, so we filmed for my postcard on Tuesday. Hola amigos, eh, ¿qué tal? Soy Robin de Suecia. Uh, I really hope to see you soon in Spain again. I enjoyed Madrid so much. Thank you, Robin.